Hi, this is Renee Olivia, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how I grew really fast on TikTok. I went from zero to 44,000. I promise you these tips will help, but the last one will blow your mind. So stick around to listen to that. But first, for all things beauty, fashion, and social media, I'm happy to help. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna put up my, my handle for my Instagram and my TikTok, so check those out. I want to be clear, I have never bought a follower um, ever uh, or a like or a comment because I'm I'm so afraid of it. I've heard you can get shadow banned and all of that stuff and I, and I know that you can. So just don't do it, it's not worth it. Grow organically. Um, I will do um, another video on how I grew on Instagram. I have over 50,000 followers there. Um, and then um, I will, in this video, tell you how I grew on TikTok. Okay, number one, post consistently and often. And it really does vary with the niche that you're in. And I'll explain. I am in the fashion and beauty. So I do a lot of content that has to do with styling clothes and what the best color is for your skin tone and things like that. Um, so it's all fashion and beauty, skincare, all that. I post once a day. That's all I can do for me personally to create good content. I don't want to just throw something out there just because, oh, somebody said to post three times a day, which for me as a, mom, a working mom and a social media influencer, it's just not possible to create good content and post two to three times a day for my niche and for my lifestyle. But there are people that are posting two, three, four, five, six, seven times a day that are in different niches that are doing something funny or um, trendy or, or for the younger kids, like then, then you can grow really quickly. So the point of, of posting, you know, consistently and often is it gives the algorithm a better chance to see your video and for the video to go viral and that's what you want. You want your videos to go viral. So that's why everyone says to post a lot and consistently. So that's number one. Number two is posting at the right time. And when you're just starting out, make sure first of all that you have a business account. Um, that way later on when you get a bigger volume of videos that are out there, you can actually go into the analytics and see for you specifically and what your putting out there what the best time is for your account. When you're just starting out, and this is what I did, and I'll put the, um, the graph up. I used this graph and I Googled it. I said, what are the best times to, to post on, on TikTok? And it gave me specifically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and all different times for those different days. And I went by it and I stuck by it. But now that I have a lot of videos, I just went through all of my videos, looked at the analytics, what time it was posted, how well it did, and then I figured out specifically what time was great for my uh, account. So now I might have tweaked the time a little bit and only post at a certain time for my account. So I think that you should start out with the graph and then eventually look at your analytics and go by what works for your account. That's number two. Okay, number three. Use trending sounds that TikTok is recommending to you. So for instance, when you're uploading your video, even if I'm talking, like I'm actually using my sound to explain an outfit I'm wearing, in the background, you can put a trending sound, but just lower the volume and then your vo voice will still be heard as your own voiceover, but the trending sound will be in the background that the algorithm can pick that up. So it's just a little something that you should think about because again, you want your video to go viral. And if there's a trending sound, it's more likely to go viral. So that's what I do when I'm talking and doing a voiceover. And then if I'm not, and I just wanna do like a, a sound, then yeah, I just pick a really fun trendy sound that TikTok is recommending. And I just use that and it definitely has been helping. So that's number three. Okay, number four is look at the Discover page and For You page on TikTok. Find out what's trending, what people are looking at, what people are interested in, what's going viral, and then see if you can take your own take on it. 
I've done that with a few of the videos that had really nothing to do, a few of them had nothing to do with fashion and beauty. Like one I did was like a, a guess how old I am uh, video that actually was one of the highest viewed video on my page. So you just have to find fun stuff that you think you can incorporate into your page um, and see if it goes viral. So that's a huge thing. So definitely make sure you're gonna do that because again, you want the algorithm to pick up your video so it goes viral. So that's number four and let's get to the last one that the one that will literally blow your mind. It blew my mind, embarrassingly so, but anyway. <laughs> Okay, so here is the number five tip that I have for you. And there, and there are lots of other tips to, that I'd like to include, but I really wanted to do the top five that have worked for me. So um, I'll put the picture of the one video I'm talking about that went the most viral of my videos. Um, and some people were like, oh, 300,000 views, that's nothing. But for my account, it was huge. And I gained like 16,000 followers from that video alone. And here's what I did. I did all my research on this analogous color scheme that I wanted to show different outfits in. The content was great. And I got a ton of people saying, oh my God, I love this content, I love this content. Well, the problem was on my cover photo, I spelled analogous wrong, completely wrong. So everything you see when you first see the video before you even view anything, you're looking at the wrong spelling. And then in the video, I pronounced it incorrectly. Well, of course, people are gonna love to criticize you. People love to criticize people. So, and people can be super mean on TikTok, so just know that. And so anyway, my point is, I was gonna take it down, I was so embarrassed, but because people love to be mean and comment and tell you when you're wrong and you're stupid, <laughs> as they said, um, the, the more they're commenting, the more it's getting picked up by the algorithm and the more it's getting viewed by people who actually enjoyed my content and followed me because of it. So that's huge. So yeah, so that's really important. So yes, people can be mean and whatever, but it's okay. I have thick skin. Definitely get thick skin if you're going to be on TikTok because I've been called grandma. I've been called you, I don't, you name it, they can be mean. Anyway, um, so my point is, if you're gonna make a mistake, this is really important. Make sure you have good content because it, let's, let's be honest, if I made the spelling mistake and the pronunciation mistake and I had bad content, then it would be, it would have gone viral for all the wrong reasons and I probably would have lost followers. But because I made an honest mistake and people do, and people, some of them were so kind and, um, knew all of these mean comments were going on, but they were still like, listen, I loved your content and I'm gonna follow you because of the content, not because you made an honest, honest mistake. So anyway, my point is, if you're gonna make a mistake, make sure you have good content, okay? And um, you want your, viral, your videos to go viral, so make a mistake, but create good content, okay? <laughs> I think I've made that clear. But anyway, that is my video on how I grew on TikTok. I would love to know your thoughts on how, if you do have a TikTok account, what your thoughts are on how it's working for you, what's not working for you. So definitely comment down below. Give it a thumbs up if it helped a little bit on um, ways that it can maybe help, help you grow in, in the future. And I hope to see you on TikTok. Let me know and comment down below if you have a TikTok handle. I would love to check it out. And I will see you all next time. Bye.